Good afternoon, YouTube land. Had a customer show up with a generator. Of course, has been sitting up like a champion or something. Generator sitting up. He said, can you fix this? I said, why, of course we can. So, let's then we get it winched up and on a buggy and over to the bench. And we were swinging. Alright, got him on the buggy. Had a little interruption there at a customer. Has dropped off an X mark. Only 165 hours and then no start. We'll figure that out in a little while. But back to the generator. See if I can focus in there. Fuel line's all cracked up. I don't know how good you can see that, but fuel line's cracked up. He said uh, the on-off switch doesn't work. He has to, he's been unplugging. He said he unplugged that wire to make it stop. And then, here's the other fun part. Melted. So, well, let's get into this thing, see if we can fix it. All right, let's get started. Let's see what this smells like. Woo! <coughs> Do not try that at home. All right, let's see if we can pump some gas out of there. Looks like a fair amount. And this thing is a leaky leaky. Just so you can see it, this uh, little battery operated pump. But it does leak. Works pretty good though. So I don't know if we'll take to get all this out. One sitting, this is one of the first things I do. That's getting rid of that gas. I'm gonna use my gas. That didn't take long. Sweet. Now, let's see. Darn, that almost filled that jug up. Let's take this apart. Looks right, like we got to pull this cover off. Maybe. Ooh, loose. Loosey goosey. Let's get us a little tray for our scrooges. It's a beautiful rainy day in South Carolina. Let's make this quicker. Never taken one of these champions apart before, but as Terrell says, it's not the space shuttle. The cover should pop in there. And there goes my flat washers. Now we get this. Get this breather hose out of the way. Ten millimeter. Sorry about my chair, it's so noisy. Let's 
let's get this stuff out of the way. Oof. Stanky, stanky. Let's see. There's the jug. So much of a mess I can make. That hose is about to break off. Oof, not even letting any fuel out. I know I didn't suck everything. Just rip it off. Grip it and rip it. We're gonna put them a nice new one in there anyway. See if this will come off. Check lever. Moving on. Let's just go ahead and put it all the way off and see what we're working with. Choke spring. Don't forget to hook these little springs up. Like they're supposed to be. Alright, let's get us a little pad to work on. Like a mole. Ooh, nasty, stinky. All right, what we're gonna do is we'll pull this main jet out right there. Let's get our needle and see. Pops right out. Some of these old screwdrivers that ground the sides off, so they got they'll fit down in these. Jet's easy. I'm going to see if I can move you down a little bit. Maybe. Alrighty then. Carburetor's not all that bad. There she is. Now, motion tube, and typically this long end right there goes up in, and you can, when you look inside, you'll be able to see it stick up through the hole up in the middle of the body of the carburetor. So, let's clean those up. And we're going to start a torch tip cleaner, and we're going to hit every little tiny hole these have a little file on them I always want to make sure they're all open how many carburetor cleans have you guys seen on YouTube oh my god why am I showing you all of this you probably already know how to do it well that didn't stop that <laughs> not anymore One up here. And we'll see if I can demo this without getting it all over my camera. Take this hose, and I usually use a little brake there. And I'll clip the end first. I'm going to little shot through. Okay, that worked. Now, let's see. See all those holes nice and open? 
that's what we want. They got these things so darn lean. If you file them out a little bit, you're not going to hurt a thing. All you're going to do is help it run a little better. It wants more fuel anyway. Give this a little shot. Isn't that pretty? Now. Every hole you can find. See these holes in here? Let's clean all of that. We also need to pop this out and clean that. And if you look, see there's a couple of threads right there. And it's just got to be close because this thing never idles anyway. I don't think. So we're going to back that out. a little pop and our little wires through and we find where it'll fit nope that don't fit either hey. my wife loves to do crafts stuff and flower arrangements and they got to use these little things for I don't know they wrap around a flower or something to put them in arrangements but the little wire works great I doubt you can see it but I can see it poking right through the big hole running down the sleeve. You know, you should be wearing gloves doing this. Otherwise, your hands will start looking like mine. Somebody pulling up. I'll be back. Sounds like money pulling up. Okay, I went in and stuck that carburetor back together. Y'all didn't want to see all that, so there it is. And next, we got to get the rest of this fuel out of this tank. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip this up and see just how big of a mess I can make. I have no idea if it's going to ring it or not. We'll see. I'm going to use a little board here to prop it up. Look, it actually worked. Can you believe that? And I'm going to probably take some old, old dirty rags. I've probably got some extras around and I'll wipe around inside that tank and just use a long screwdriver and uh, kind of wipe it around in there and then 
to get it back out. Have this little tool. Bend in and you mash the thing and Real, real, real. And you can grab it and get it back out of the tank. This also helps when you got those gas caps, the gasket, you know, uh, on a lot of these they'll break on riding mowers and they'll fall down in them tanks and you can't get to it. You can reach right there, grab it, pull it right out. If it does not break into four million pieces. Isn't that fun, folks? All right, I'm gonna pause this till we get this fuel done. Drip, 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 drip. Carl, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it, Carl? It ain't got no gas in it. Mm-hmm. Get me some Brent Rod Taters. All right, got our new piece of fuel line cut. Getting ready to put it on. We're using uh, Rotary 4199. Anyway, we buy this stuff by the rolls, 50 foot. We've got every size you can imagine. Obviously, we go through a lot of it, so let's see if we can get this fuel line on. Yeah, did I choose the right size, I wonder? Maybe. Some people use pliers to do that, right? I don't hardly have any feeling in my fingers anyway. That's what happens when you get old and do this stuff a long time. Squeaky chair, squeaky chair. All right, let's pop this stuff together and I'll be right back with you. It's just the air cleaner boxes. Not the space shuttle. change this oil twelve millimeter but y'all could have figured that out I bet it's nasty oh just a little bit This is gonna take a while with a cold engine. I should have ran it, but I was, it was so nasty. I decided to go ahead and do it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean everything up and just let it sit here a while and drain and go do something else. Be back with you. Well, I just removed the spark plug. Yeah, we're gonna get him a new one. I'm gonna put it put that in. Alright, let's see what happens. Gas on, switch on, choke. Did I do good?
great day. Click that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Click the bell so you can see our videos.